nice and tight. Connect it in. Let's give it a test. There you go. It is super easy. Nice. To how are you guys doing today? This is a part two of the last vlog. It wasn't meant to be a part one, part two, but as I was getting home, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get that situation where I'll be driving, crap is gonna be on the windshield, I won't be able to see, and the windshield wiper doesn't, uh, the fluid thing doesn't work. So I think it's very important right now to head up to the Chrysler um, shop and see if we can get two new nozzles. Apparently you should replace them uh, at the same time, don't just buy one, buy a pair. So let's go up to a Chrysler dealer and uh, buy them. We'll go home, replace them, see if it works. Before I buy, I'll show you how bad this thing is. dealer oh there's a spot right there nice so I'm gonna take a picture of the panel that way they have that exact make and model and um, what's it called VIN number and that helps them make sure they get the exact part I need let's go You are going to lose your mind. How much do you guys think, before I tell you, how much do you think Chrysler will sell one washer nozzle? And you can you can buy one if you want, but apparently it's best to buy a kit or both of them and have them both changed. Um, so before I tell you, go ahead. How much does it cost per nozzle to buy and put in myself? Just the nozzle. You don't have to do tax. Just what each nozzle costs. And I'm going to show you something else. I think I can zoom in. Good. So the guy, he's like, he goes, it might as, be, might as well be made of gold. And uh, he says, I hate telling people the price. And he, he said, he let, just let me go check one more time just to make sure. So he went left, came back. He goes, yep. He goes, don't shoot the messenger. $100 a piece. So $200 to fix two nozzles. And he's like, he goes, I, I hate telling people how much they cost because it's stupid expensive for two little plastic nozzles. He said, you can get the Chinese knockoff ones, but... They won't work as well. They won't spray as nicely or whatever. So, so I, as he's, I, when he went away, I started looking up on Amazon. Ten ninety nine. Chrysler, what's going on? I, I can imagine like these ones being better than these ones. I get it. They're they're made from Chrysler or whatever, but. To be a hundred dollars per nozzle. What? He's he, he's like he goes. You know what? It's probably better just to get the other ones. But and I'm like, dude, I really appreciate your honesty. I probably would have come to that conclusion without you telling me. If he just straight up said, oh, hundred dollars. If he went and got them, came up and he goes, oh, that's two hundred dollars. I would have said, okay, bye. 
I gotta go. I'd, I'd rather just have a Windex bottle in the vehicle, open my window, <laughs> open my window. When's the last time you opened a window like that? Open my window, bzz, put my arm out, ch -ch -ch -ch, spray it on. And that way uh, my window would be clean. Or do what those, some of those people do. They pull off the highway and throw snow on it, clean the windshield and start to drive again. I've seen those people. I was one of them once when I was really broke. Couldn't fix nothing. All right, so I was kind of hoping this whole video would be me buying the nozzles and uh, going home, putting them in, making a whole video on it. So this will have to be a continuation type vlog. But I also said to him, what if I just go to like a wrecker? He goes, the problem is they, because it's always cold on top and hot from the engine, the plastic becomes very brittle. So the chances of you removing it from another vehicle and putting it on your vehicle and having it not break, he says it's pretty slim to none. But because you have to, there's like two pincher pins as you push it through the hole, the pins push in and as it goes in, they snap, snap back open. And so from the inside of the hood, you have to like grab it with needle nose pliers, pinch it to get it out. And uh, so that's how you do it. So right now they, when especially when I'm on the highway, as you saw in the clip, uh, I sprayed it because I'm traveling so fast, this, the fluid goes up the windshield. But if I'm sitting still, I'll show you when we get to the house. If we're sitting still at a stoplight or whatever, and you try to clean the windshield wipers, it just comes out there and it doesn't come up onto the windshield. The, the overspray from that one does help a little bit, but not nearly as good as it's supposed to. So, oh well, there goes that fun vlog for the day. It's 25 to two. I'll probably spend the rest of the afternoon. I should go for a walk. I'm gonna do a big walk first. And then we'll spend the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna go straight. On well, these country roads are so nice. Um, I'll do my walk and then I'll start to edit the video that I shot today and have it ready for to go for tomorrow. Yeah, it's almost two o'clock, so we'll get our walk in, do at least an hour walk, come home, edit, get that video ready to go for tomorrow, uh, and then maybe videotape me making my dinner but I don't I'm, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna eat today I'm so full from those rice balls uh, again if you ever order those rice ball things just get two don't eat all four if you do order four share them with somebody somebody you love maybe friend family made it back home let me show you what it looks like hit the sprayer see it just gurgles out the bottom there this one's working great off the side. Yep. Let's go into uh, the house and uh, go on Amazon. Get that all worked out. Order our new nozzles. Carol made it back. I grabbed a different set of keys, and the second set of keys that I have don't doesn't have the uh, house key on it. So I was having an issue earlier. I'll explain them in a minute. But look at all the. Snow is all melted, which is great. So now we have room for the next onslaught of snow. I have to redo my rain barrels or at least take them down and I put up a longer uh, downspout so that the water doesn't run straight into the base of the building there. So there's my downspout. It's got to redo that and then that's all done. <laughs> 